Welcome back to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dina News Big News for Dina just dropped. Subscribe to stay informed and comment below, where we dive into the latest global events and their impact on the world stage. Today we're focusing on a significant diplomatic visit that's been making headlines Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani of Iraq's trip to the United States. This visit is not just a routine diplomatic exchange, it's a journey that could shape the future of Iraq's relationship with the US and its position in the Middle East. Prime Minister Sudani's itinerary is packed with strategic stops across the country, including Michigan, California and Texas. But it's his brief yet crucial time in Washington, D.C. that has everyone talking. With only one hour dedicated to the nation's capital, the Prime Minister's schedule speaks volumes about his priorities and the delicate dance of diplomacy. In Michigan and California, Sudani is set to engage with the Iraqi diaspora, a community that bridges the gap between his homeland and the land of opportunity. These meetings are more than just social calls, they're a chance for Sudani to tap into the wealth of knowledge and resources that the expatriate community offers. It's a unique opportunity to foster goodwill and support for Iraq's path forward. The visit to Texas holds a different kind of significance. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has its servers for its website located in the Lone Star State, a detail that might seem trivial at first glance, but is actually a testament to the interconnectedness of global finance and technology. By visiting Texas, Sudani is sending a clear message about the importance of financial security and technological infrastructure in Iraq's development. But let's talk about Washington, D.C. Why only one hour? This brief window in the Prime Minister's schedule is dedicated to meeting with President Joe Biden at the White House. In this short time, the two leaders will reaffirm their commitment to the Strategic Framework Agreement and discuss the evolution of the military mission in Iraq, nearly 10 years after the formation of the Global Coalition to defeat ISIS. They'll also delve into Iraqi financial reforms aimed at promoting economic development and progress towards energy independence and modernization. This meeting, though brief, is expected to be incredibly potent. The discussions will likely touch on the U.S. military presence in Iraq, sanctions and bilateral relations. Amid pressures from pro-Iranian factions within Iraq, Sudani's visit is a balancing act of diplomatic and economic interests. The Prime Minister's delegation, which includes key ministers and the President of the CBI, will also engage with American businesses and think tanks, further solidifying the U.S.-Iraq partnership. The implications of this visit are far-reaching. Successful negotiations could lead to a timetable for the withdrawal of his combat forces from Iraq or a new framework for the U.S. military's mission in the country. However, these agreements may come with trade-offs, such as easing sanctions on blacklisted banks, which could grant more financial power to groups with anti-American sentiments. As Sudani navigates these complex dynamics, his trip underscores Iraq's desire for a secure, sovereign and prosperous future, fully integrated into the broader region. The Prime Minister's focus on reforms during his six days and 23 hours outside of Washington, D.C. highlights his government's agenda for economic and financial restructuring. These reforms are crucial for elevating Iraqi-American relations and activating the principles outlined in the strategic agreement between the two nations. In conclusion, Prime Minister Sudani's visit to the United States is a powerful statement of intent. It's a journey of strategic engagements, high-stakes meetings, and a vision for a reformed Iraq. As we watch this trip unfold, we're reminded of the intricate web of international relations and the pivotal role that such diplomatic visits play in shaping the future of nations. Thank you for watching. For more insights into global politics and current affairs, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.